we have our type 9 LSA, which describes specifically the prefixes that the routers locally know about. So you enable OSPF on an interface or OSPF v3 on an interface, that prefix associated with that interface is injected into the link state database as what? A type 9 LSA, the intra area prefix link state. That's what it is now. And then that information gets flooded throughout the entire area. So it's describing to all the other routers in the area the different prefixes that the router locally knows about. And then down below, we have the type 5 LSA. The good old type 5 LSA. Describing what? Describing those external networks. The networks that are outside of our, of our what? Our OSPF routing domain. So in this example, we can see that we've learned about a few different type 5 LSAs from our three. At 192.333, as well as our own on our four at 192.444. And so now we can take these type 5 LSAs and flood them into the different areas and then the other routers can learn about how to reach the networks that are outside of the routing domain. So there's one LSA type missing here in this output and that was the type 4 LSA. And what is that type 4 LSA for? The type 4 LSA is to tell the other routers about how to get to the advertising router of the type 5 LSA because that advertising router information doesn't change as it crosses an area border router. Well, R4 is in area zero. Since R4 is in area zero, and these type five LSAs are being redistributed by a router in area zero, R3 or R4 itself, well, we don't need a type four in that area because remember the type four LSA is generated by an ABR. An ABR uh, generates that type four to tell the routers inside that other area to use itself as the next top router in order to get to what those external routing domains. So for example, if you go to our topology, R4 in this particular case is generating the type five and so is R3. They're generating those type five LSAs. So it won't be until we get to R5 or R6 that the type four is generated and sent in to area 567. So if we take a look here, show IPv6 OSPF database. Let's take a look at our type four LSA. So there's our type five. There it is, our type four, the intra area router link state. And they are being generated by who? generated by R5 and R6, and they're saying if you want to get to 3.3.3.3 or 4.4.4.4, we can see down here, go ahead and send it to me. I'll take care of it. And why might we want to go to 3.3.3.3 and 4.4.4.4? Because we want to leave our routing domain. Make sure you take some time to review this information. It's important to understand the the types of LSAs we have for OSPF v3, because it's gonna come in handy when you are troubleshooting OSPF. Maybe your routers aren't learning the routes you expect them to. Maybe you're having some difficulties with your routing environment or suboptimal uh, routing paths being chosen. You might wanna take a look at the database to see what is truly being learned and how it's being learned by each of the routers.